It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 6th of July. I'm James Spann. Got some changes coming up, including decreasing heat levels and increasing rain opportunities. Doesn't that sound good for a parched Alabama? We'll check some of the sky cam shots. These were captured early this morning at the insane hour of 5 a.m. Who would be awake at that hour? Me. That's the uh, Tuscaloosa sky cam looking down uh, below on uh, Lurleen B. Wallace Boulevard. Things are quiet after some storms last night that really packed a punch. That's the uh, Columbus, Mississippi sky cam across the state line over in Lowndes County. And look at the uh, Demopolis sky cam, a little evidence of some light of day. But the daylight is beginning to fade as we are past the solstice. Hey, hey, it's the ring of fire. I need Johnny Cash in here. The upper high is over Iowa and Missouri, and storm clusters rotate in a clockwise fashion around the periphery of that. Thus, the ring of fire. The upper high is the center of the heat. And, man, those that came through here last night really, really were nasty. Uh, we had tree and line damage over a number of North Alabama counties. And a lot of folks this morning are in the dark because of that. But things are calm this morning. Uh, that's the radar at 5.06. Most of the action way down south on the Gulf Coast. In fact, uh, note that little severe thunderstorm warning uh, around Navarre Beach between uh, Fort Walton and Pensacola. Big storms also uh, between Destin and Panama City. But up this way, things are quiet. Highs yesterday. You can pick out the core of the heat. Uh, St. Louis over toward Paducah, Kentucky, where they are still baking. But by golly, that heat is moving west and away from us. And uh, that means decreasing heat levels next week and much better rain opportunities. Convective outlook today, yeah, you'll see that about every day in the summer, just that 5% chance. And any summer storm on a hot day can produce a wet microburst, a whole lot of lightning, small hail. Uh, but this is not tornado season. The winds will alter light and variables. The tornadoes don't happen. Uh, same thing tomorrow and on day three, which is Sunday, same thing. And again, a surface cold front's going to be kind of easing down in here, and that might enhance the coverage of showers and storms Sunday. And accordingly, the range uh, numbers are going up for the next five days. This is valid through Tuesday evening of next week, and I uh, got some pretty good numbers. That's spitting out two and a half inches around Nashville. And, and again, you know, one storm could drop one inch in 30 minutes. We all know that, but it certainly looks like the stage is set for maybe some beneficial rain for the state. We don't often say that in the summer unless we have a tropical system involved, but with a pattern change, a stall front north of here, things are looking pretty good. And the tropics are quiet. And again, like we've talked about, the, over there in the breeding ground, the eastern Atlantic, the water is cool, the air is dry, and that's good. It just looks like any development this year is going to be close in, and those rarely become major hurricanes. All right, let's look at the GFS. This is the OZ run at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. You could pick out the heat, can't you? 594 ring. Uh, Kansas City up to Chicago, it's blazing up through there. And down here, again, showers and storms will likely form. And like last night, they'll probably move from southwest to northeast. And uh, highs, mid to upper 90s. Of course, storms blow in. You'll drop into the upper 70s in a heartbeat. All right, this is uh, tomorrow as we kick off the weekend. Same thing. Uh, you know, we'll probably start the day with some sunshine tomorrow morning. We'll see scattered showers and storms developing during the course of the day. Sunday, same deal. Temperatures easing down. Uh, uh, highs could drop into the low 90s on Sunday with scattered showers and storms. And there's Monday, and there's your pattern change. We've got the... Uh, core of the heat out west and a nice trough developing over the east down below that a surface boundary north of the state giving an enhancement to showers and storms over tennessee and those probably drop down in here and you can see how tuesday the front just stops up around interstate 40 and uh, that means a pretty good chance of showers and storms and every day next week the gfs is forecasting highs between 86 and 89 that rarely ever happens in July. I'm sure one of those days we'll get up in the low 90s, but certainly heat's not going to be a big problem. Wednesday, again, the front is clearly stopped north of us. And uh, Thursday of next week, we're in that soupy air mass, scattered to numerous showers and storms. And a week from today, still a weakness nearby. And again, that would suggest scattered to numerous showers and storms. So yes, the, the coverage of the rain will be uneven. That's just the way it works in the summer here. But if you take the uh, average of the rain we get next week, I, I certainly think 
news could be pretty good. We'll check the end of the forecast, July 21st. The 594 ring, where is it? Out west. Yeah. And uh, again, uh, broad troughing to the north. And again, that would suggest the heat not out of hand with at least scattered showers and storms. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 3.30 or so today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.